going to get up and your bed's going to feel cozy and you're going to rub the sleep from your eyes and you're going to get out of bed and stretch some more and you're going to get up and, you know, use the bathroom and brush your teeth and brush your hair.
is just a cake a nice little
There's part of the river with almost like a little, a little pier, but it's just made out of the rocks and dirt and grass as the rest of the ground, but it's just so perfectly placed that it couldn't be a coincidence. No, not at all. And you decide. and they don't disappear. You start to see little, little creatures poking their heads out from behind tree trunks. And they look strange, humanoid in a way, but somehow different. Something that you can't quite place. It just makes them not exactly what you're used to seeing. And they look curious at you. Not understanding how you found your way here. And then you start to realize that you can see little iridescent wings sprouting from their backs, and you found a little fairy village. And you keep walking, and soon the little will of the lips fade, and at the very end of the will of the wisp path, you, you see just.
sensation of just calmness and just peacefulness and it just it just fills you up inside and you decide to walk towards it and it pulls you in for a hug you feel safe you feel so 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 safe and you just know that everything is gonna be okay and when it takes your hand and it starts to lead you somewhere and you're okay you're okay everything is okay it slowly leads you to this little house that's been built into the side of a tree trunk and so now when you look for the door a second time it's still So you realize it's not a nail at all, but little tiny carving from the wood itself. The little will-o'-the-wisp opens this door for you, and inside. 